Hello and welcome back to Friday Tech Tips. This is Matt Romney with the State of Utah and I'm doing your tech tip today. Today we're talking about screenshots. Now screenshots are a very simple uh, function. Macintosh computers and Windows computers have had this function for a long time and it's just a key on your keyboard. Now there's plenty of other ways to do it but today we're just going to talk about the keys on your keyboard that can help you take a screenshot. So what is a screenshot? It's just what it says. It's a picture of what's showing on your monitor. Now, it gets a little bit different when you're dealing with multiple monitors, but the concepts are still the same. Now let me just go to my email window to show you here what we're looking at. So I can take a screenshot by just pressing a few keys. Now let me show you. I've got a picture of some keyboards here. If you're on a desktop computer, this is what you're looking for. Print screen and it's usually combined with something else. Um, print screen might be below, system requirements might be above, uh, it could be combined with insert, um, but, and it'll say print screen or it'll be abbreviated. Let me show you what it looks like on my laptop monitor, or my laptop keyboard. It's got the insert and the print screen in a little box. Now on a laptop, it's different simply because they have fewer keys that they can work with. So that little box around the print screen refers to this key, the FN or function key. Let me zoom in on that a little bit so you can see it better. So that's the function key. Now any other key that has that little white box around it, for instance, this one, the next one, those require you to hold down the function key while you're pushing that other button. So, to take a screenshot of what I'm looking at on my monitor, I would need to hold down, since I'm on a laptop, the function key and my print screen button. If I'm on a desktop or regular keyboard, I just have to push the print screen button. And that takes a snapshot of what's on my monitor and puts it in the clipboard. Now what you can do with that, let's say I'm gonna send that to someone in an email, We'll send that to myself as a tech tip screenshot. And then I'm going to do control V and that's going to paste that screenshot right into the email. Okay, so there you have, that's what, that's everything that was showing on my monitor. Even the little control buttons for my video capture program. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can just right click and paste. So that'll get you to the same place. If you just right click, and then if I had it still in my, let's see, I think it still has it over here. So I can still paste it again if I want to. So that's two ways you can paste that in. Let's say you don't want a screenshot of the entire monitor you just want one window or maybe you're dealing with two and three monitors and you only want the one um, window that you're dealing with on that monitor so you use this the same concept for any of those situations what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this email window out now I hover over that and it tells us how to do it but it's hold the shift key down and click that and now I've got my email in a separate little window so if I want a screenshot of just that window, I need to make sure that's active, because if I click on something else, it disappears. But I can do the Alt-Tab to bring that back, make sure it's active, and then do my, since I'm on a laptop, the function, hold down the Alt. So I'm holding down Function and Alt together, and then I'm going to type the, click the Print Screen button. Now again, if you're on a desktop, you don't have to hold down the function key because you won't have one. So I'm going to do control V and there it is. It's not the whole window, it's not the whole monitor, it's just that window for the email. So if you're on a two monitor system and you only want one monitor or only want one uh, window, then you have to just do alt print screen and it'll give you just what's the active window at that moment. So that's a really quick tip. 
you can paste them into you can paste those images out of your clipboard into um, Word files. You can paste them into PowerPoint. You can paste them into emails, as you saw here. Um, you can paste them into just about anything that will accept a screenshot, um, even image editing software. So I appreciate your time today. Hope this ends up being a useful tip and maybe even the little pop your email window out will be of use for, to you today. But ask me any questions, any that this brings up. I look forward to answering questions from you next week. Have a great weekend.